Thee are returned. Find the beacons or perish. Intriguing. You're welcome to keep it and continue your research. We're late for a rendezvous with the Endeavor. Let us know what you find out. Just rewatch Lord X is brilliant. Right, right. Grand Zenimac also found Lord X there too. Dr. Culver is wonderful, and the actor is also an A-plus person. Wait, what? Oh, from, um, Discovery? No. 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 Not Discovery. From the Strange New World show. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Yes, Discovery. Okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. That's another one that I haven't actually watched. Don't hold it against me. I wasn't really a fan of the start of Discovery, so I didn't really get into it. Should I try again and stick with it? Add your crew by recruiting skilled officers from across the galaxy and, ass and assessing them to ships. Recruit a new officer now. You got it. So to recruit an officer, um, let's click go. And that takes me onto this screen. I've got a little one arrow, a little one red thing on standard recruit. Click view. All I got to do is hit one chest. And again, you can buy more chests. You don't have to. Please do not put money into this game if you cannot afford to do so. It's not a requirement. It is an option. I got Montgomery Scott. Hi, Scotty. I also got some officer XP. I might like Adria though. It gets better after the first season and goes back to like, okay, 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 okay. Season two is like the, okay, okay. Strange New World plot. Mm. Season three onwards, they go further into the future than we've ever gone in Star Trek lore. Ooh, ooh. I need to get caught up with some of these series. I've got another chest I can open as well. I'm going to grab this. Tom enjoyed Discovery, but now they've moved it off Netflix and I haven't got the energy to go chasing it around the internet. Getting my tre Star Trek fix from the next generation and Picard at the moment. Yes. Because the next generation is still on Netflix, right? It's got a bunch of new officers there. I got uh, another... So the, the more of them you get, you see I'm on like one of six for like crusher every time i get another crusher card i can promote crusher um same goes for Riker, who's currently on one of three and laforge who's now on one of three as well done i got some gifts to open too there's like a 10 minute chest that you get every 10 minutes gives you a few items 25 dilithium and a 24 hour chest and four hour chest just to keep your items topped up a bit don't worry about the seven day loyal chest they cost monies you gotta put uh, monies in to get these loyalty badges. Unless you get them. Um, hold on. Found in daily daily goal rewards. Use to redeem loyalty chests in the gift section. Okay, so you can get these just from playing along um, from the daily goal rewards. Helen, you won that race. Good job. I'm gonna set up the next one on Cloud Chase. There you go. Next race is set up for Nitro Stream Racing. It is season one, Riker. It is. He's, he's beardless. At least this Riker is. There are different versions of all the officers. So, like, from, like, different series and stuff. So, you've got, like, Badgie from <laughs> Lower Decks, which I absolutely adore. I've got no idea how you get him. <laughs> but there is... The Badgie does exist in here. And one of his... One of his... One of his abilities is... Wee! Murder! Ha! Ah, you're gonna die! <laughs> Unfit to lead. This officer does not have a captain's maneuver. Equipping this officer as the captain of a ship provides no benefit. Badgie does not make a good captain. But you've got like Borg officers. You've got you've got so many, so many different officers available in here. And I love that they've got lower decks ones in here as well. Ferengi. There's William T. Riker. The one we know and love with the beard. Hope we get more cards. He gets the beards and upgrades. So so bearded Riker, the next generation crew Riker, um, is an epic unlock. So he's he's you can get him. But he's quite hard to get. He's quite rare. We got to make do with beardless Riker at the start. New recruit. Click that. I've analyzed a device we received from Captain Marcona. It is of an unknown but ancient origin. It appears to be some kind of power source. Upgrade the station's operation building, and that will allow me to perform more advanced scans of the artifact to learn more. Regular updates will allow us to enhance the station and expand its capabilities. I will continue my research into the ancient object. Okay. 
So upgrade the station to level three on operations. The operations place is basically the one that determines your overall level. So if you're trying to rush to level 10 to help me out with the sponsorship, getting your operations um, building to level 10 is the fastest way to do it. There are some prerequisites to, to the whole upgrade system though. It'll, it'll tell you what needs to be done. So funny they include him, literally. I love it. <laughs> Strange New World is not a bad starting point at all. The next generation has some skippable episodes. Excuse me? Excuse me, what? I mean, you're right. You're, you're correct. Keep Badgie away from Runicorn. They'll both be unstoppable. Excellent suggestion. Grand Zenorak. <laughs> Captain Hat, hi. Jonathan Fox is an unironically super cool dude as well. He is. He is. You know that show that he used to do? Like back in the 90s that was all about like myths and stuff. 